Hey everyone, good morning, it's Marissa, and I'm here with a project share, um, and I'm super excited because um, what I'm showing you is something that I normally, you know, I wanted, I've been wanting to try, so I'm kind of tardy to the party, um, but I just never did it because I've been so um, intimidated by it. I don't know if some of you guys feel that way sometimes on certain projects where you see everybody doing it, but you think, oh, um, you know, it looks really hard and I'm not going to even try it. So I finally did. And let me tell you guys, I am loving it. I am loving it. And that's why part of it is why I went to downtown LA to go to the big factory. So, and I wanted to give a shout out to Anna and Nurse Tara because Anna is um, Serenity Creations. Because they are the bomb when it comes to jewelry making and bead dangles and all that good stuff. So, and there's a, lo a lot of other ladies too who... um. I've seen make some awesome, awesome bead dangles. So I'm gonna go to head. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I made. But first, I'm gonna show you some bracelets that I made. So I followed Anna's tutorial. Anna's tutorial with Nurse Tara's um, bead tutorial. So I made this gorgeous bracelet, and the beads I got from downtown LA. And this is one of those um, like faux. Alex and Ani bracelets and I followed Anna's tutorial on it's the adjustable bracelet so this is these that I'm showing you are my first ones so <clears throat> I didn't put enough beads here on this side so that's the only downfall but other than that I think it came out super duper cute um I have a really tiny wrist you guys so but look Look at how cute, and I love the color. See, I didn't put enough beads on the end. I'll probably redo this one for sure because um, it's a simple fix. It's pretty easy. It's easier than I thought. So I did that, and then I um, did some wire wrapping. And don't laugh at my wire wrapping because this is the first time that I've ever did wire wrapping. So I followed Nurse Tara's video on that. So there's that bracelet that I'm probably going to take apart and redo because it's kind of tight just a little bit and then put more beads on here because, um, yeah, but that was my first one, so I'll let it slide. And this one too. These were my first ones. So I made this one. This is a silver one with some bead dangles here. So I'll probably redo this one as well because I didn't put enough beads here on the end so um yeah so that's my adjustable faux alex and ani bracelets that i made um and then also like i said i've been watching um nurse tara and everybody else do the purse dangles so um i thought i would try and my first one is not too shabby you guys this is the first one i made but as you can see, look at the wire wrapping. To me, because I watch so many of your guys' videos, it compares nothing. But this is the first one I made. And you can see um, the other ones that I made as I make them, they're getting better. So, and you can tell by the wire wrapping. But I think this came out really cute for my first time. So I used a bunch of beads that I already had. And all the beads that I own are practically... Um, from Michael's and then I have like the same colors that I got from downtown LA So that's why I went yesterday to get different colors that I don't normally have or use So there's the first bead dangle that I made Or purse charm. I don't know bead dangles purse charms, whatever you call it And then so if you guys follow me on Instagram Or social media, which is the Instagram or Facebook you guys saw that I think I shared it in one of my videos. I got a keychain that I that um Linda gifted me who's Elf Undo here on YouTube and I took it apart and I made a purse charm dangle so this is the second one that I made and look at how adorable in my last Michaels haul you guys remember I bought some yeah, um some green beads and black beads and white beads that's because I wanted to match this little cutie right here so I took it apart um this part and then there's the flower and the little pineapple and then I um, put 
some beads on it. Look at how cute. I'm so proud of myself because I went outside of the box, which I normally don't. Once in a while, I'll get, go outside the box, but I wanted to try it because I've been loving all of the bead dangles that everybody's been making. So I thought that came out cute. And my wire wrapping here is a little bit better. So there's the second one that I made. Okay, and then the third one I made, so adorable. Um, I purchased this from Neen. I think her Etsy store is Love Neen. But you guys remember I purchased a few of these a while back. And this had gold findings on it, but I took it apart to make it silver. And look at how sucking adorable that is, you guys. And I made a purse be dingle. Look. Isn't that cute? So I can't wait because I have some other ones that I wanted to um, make as well. So there's the third one. And of course, look at my bead dangles. The wire wrapping look even more better than the first and the second. And then, you guys, I purchased a Shopkins. Those of you who have kids know what Shopkins is. I purchased a keychain that they had at Michael's recently. Um, and so I was like, you know what? That will be cute on my daughter's backpack because uh, my little one, Marley, she will be going into the first grade next month. So she has a Shopkins backpack. So I, ha I had to make a simple bead dangle for her. So look at how adorable, you guys. So I was planning on... Let me get my hair from... Okay, so I was planning on um, taking this apart, putting it on a longer chain. And then I showed Anna. Now Anna was like, no, because it's for kids and it'll be better if you just leave it as is. And then just add the bead dangles from it. So I put, I did this yesterday after I went, came from downtown LA because um, I wanted to use some of the new beads. So I used this purple and the yellow beads that I got. And look at how cute. It's very simple. I only put the, um, a few beads on it, and it is super cute. So every time I look at keychains now, I'm like, oh, I can alter that, make that a purse dangle. So you guys will be seeing in my next few project videos that I'll be making a lot of jewelry and a lot of um, some of these purse bead dangles because I've just been inspired, and um, they're so much fun to make. So if you guys haven't dipped into doing this, yeah, you guys should totally do it. It's lots of fun. At least to me it is. So that's the third one that I made. Or the fourth one. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like what I made here for the first time. Um, so I hope everybody enjoys their weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.